Hello students, myself Sunil Purwar. I have been teaching maths for 20 years and uh, the students taught by me have got ranks in top 100 of IIT advanced exam as well as JE mains and best ranks being all India rank 1313 in the advanced exam and all India rank 5 in the mains exam. Now from my 20 years experience of training the students, I have found certain things which are invariably helpful to the students when just few days are left before the exam. That means just 7 days time is there or 10 days time is there. So certain things are a must to follow okay, when exams are very nearby. The very first point being that you should not give inappropriately more time to any topic or topics which have been troublesome to you. Okay, Don't give extra time or too much time to such topics because if you could not get a command over these topics in all these two years, you are definitely not going to get a command over those topics in these four to five days of time or seven days of time there. Okay. So don't give inappropriately more time to any of such troublesome topics there. But at the same time, you should ensure that in such topics also, in such troublesome topics also, you are able to solve basic level questions. Because it has been seen in the past in the exams that the topics which have been troublesome okay, or which are perceived to be very difficult by the students, examiners have asked very simple or very basic questions there. So if you can ensure a level of preparedness okay, by which you are able to answer at least basic level questions in such topics, so maybe with the grace of God you may be able to score in such troublesome topics as well there provided the question is not that difficult. So this thing is must and you, it must be ensured by you in all the three subjects. Okay for all such topics which have been too troublesome to you don't give too much time okay you should ensure just one thing that you are able to do basic level questions from these topics okay the second important point is that you should avoid too much of problem solving okay just few days before the exams especially when 3 to 4 days are left before the exams you should not do too much of you know rigorous problem solving rather your focus must be on storing in your mind all the important facts formulae and concepts okay you should try to ensure that all the, these things are revised on a regular basis daily basis okay just few days before the exams okay because if you are not able to carry forward the formulae the important concepts okay and the facts especially if you talk about chemistry more factual there okay so you are definitely going to lose some of the very scoring opportunity okay and uh, one more thing that extra topics don't ignore the extra topics there okay uh, you should ensure that at least uh, uh, you have completed all the questions which have been asked in JE mains in last two years from extra topics there okay this will definitely help you in scoring marks from these topics as well which are widely which are widely ignored by the students community there okay and third and most important point is that students keep asking even few days are left before the exam sir which topics are more important it's a myth that any topic is more important than the other topic okay it's a myth okay because several questions in JE mains okay they are multi concept questions there so how can you say uh, that one topic is going to be more important than other because there can be a mixing of uh, definite integral concepts with the limits there or uh, they may use like uh, find the values of abc in a limit question as the coordinates of a point uh, from 3d perspective so a mixing of 3d concept with calculus can be done so you have already seen such questions in the in the mains exam that they have done the mixing of you know one or more topics there 
in a single question there all right so no topic carries more weightage or more importance than the other topic all right but at the same time some units say for mathematics are bulkier than the other units so obviously they will carry more importance or more weightage for example calculus and algebra uh, they consist of at least eight eight topics you know uh, in differential calculus there are four to five topics in integral calculus there are four topics and they are very bulky bulky topics there okay similarly in algebra number of topics progression quadratic equation complex number p and c probability binomial theorem okay keep naming too many are there so as calculus and algebra they consist of more topics so as a unit they obviously become more important so topic wise there is nothing like a topic is more important than other but yes weightage wise you can say calculus and algebra they carry the more weightage compared to the other units for okay for example if you take 2d geometry that doesn't contain those many topics as these two have algebra and calculus okay so algebra calculus equal weightage okay then comes this uh, 2d geometry all right uh, all the topics from straight lines to hyperbola straight line circle parabola ellipse and hyperbola and uh, <coughs> 3d and vectors you can consider as a separate unit and trigonometry okay so obviously uh, you should not you know get trapped by this myth which is widely circulated that you know you prepare for uh, this topic this is more important than other nothing like that okay this is my experience and i am confident of the things which i have learned from my experience there okay keeping the right motivation is very very important when you are in the last lap of your journey okay of preparation there so never be bogged down by your previous past poor performances okay got it don't carry the baggage of poor performances of the past every exam gives you an opportunity to make a new beginning so give go to the exam with as positive attitude as possible okay keep motivating yourself from your good performances in the exams there or keep deriving motivation from your achievements in other fields of the ex other fields of the life or say in the education field itself okay so keep getting the motivation keeping the morale high is very very important okay so never let the baggage of past affect your future okay last but not the least how to conduct yourself a day before the exam and just before the exam and during the exam okay so point number 1 there should not be any late night studies on the eve of exam okay there must not be any late night studies at the most you should uh, complete your studies by 8 o'clock and after that you should try to relax your mind in whichever way you find it gets relaxed by listening music or um uh, seeing some you know clips of the comedy show something like that whatever suits to you so use that and try to relax your mind have a good sleep having a good sleep is very very important to perform well next day in the exam because if your sleep is if you have not taken the sleep properly your mind will not let you work properly your mind itself will not work properly okay that need of sleep will keep disturbing you during the exam okay you have to accept this fact there okay so no late night study is strictly avoided so that is the point about how to conduct yourself a day before the exam second thing how to conduct yourself just before the exam okay there must not be any last minute revision while you are on the way to the examination hall okay i have seen several students they keep you know uh notes in your hand and their uh, their dad is driving on the bike or they are going in the car and they are still reading they are still studying okay try to understand this simple fact if you could not prepare well in these two years how, what extra you are going to add in another 30 minutes there okay 
so the point is try to mind try to keep your mind as relaxed as possible okay don't try to infuse too many things in your mind try to keep your mind relaxed because only when your mind is relaxed it will function properly okay and then only you will get the ideas to solve the questions and you will be able to do the things perfectly which you are supposed to do in the exam like calculations okay thinking part etc okay so try to keep your mind as relaxed as possible okay day before the exam just before the exam and even during the exam okay so adding on to this part how to conduct yourself during the exam okay the most important thing is that you should see at least four to five questions in the beginning okay uh, in every subject and if you find those questions to be demanding or you think that you can do but it may take time so keep such questions on hold okay in every exam okay the momentum that you set in the beginning itself decides your fate on that day so in every subject the first three questions that you pick for solving must be such that that you are able to get the answers without any hassles without any difficulty you are able to complete those three questions very very comfortably because if you get stuck in any of the question okay you are in a dilemma okay you have already invested two to three minutes or maybe more minutes and uh, you are thinking that you may get okay but you are getting you know stuck further and further into that problem there never let it happen if you could not finish a question in four minutes of time then it is worthless to further continuing upon that question because it is going to eat away the time okay in which you could have done uh, two simpler questions there so try to understand this point that you should never get stuck to a question uh, forget about the time that you have already invested in the uh, that question there okay Be compare the returns you have already invested 3 minutes or 4 minutes and it may consume another 4 to 5 minutes you have totally imbalanced you have totally imbalanced okay what you were supposed to do there so never get stuck to a particular question and if you find that all the questions are very difficult so if you are feeling that that then many other students like you are also going to feel the same then what is going to be the deciding factor whoever reacts with a calm and composed mind so when the goings are getting tough tough gets going keep it in mind okay so hold your nerves and try to do your best in the exam okay wishing you all the best